and I'll show you some books that I got that I'm I'm very whelmed by. I want a cigarette. Cigarette, cigarette, cigarette. Very whelmed. Okay. Not necessarily, not at all overwhelmed and a little underwhelmed, but I'm just whelmed. I'm just fucking whelmed. For fuck's sake, people. So, first off, oh, so you thought this was a date? Apocalypse Poems by C. Russell Price. I wanted to like this book so much and I might actually end up liking it on another read, but my problem is, is that like this whole book is a bunch of quotes from other people. And then like you have like the beginning of the section with a quote from somebody. Then you have a word with a definition and then the soundtrack of what you should be listening to, I guess, when you're reading these poems and then the ritual of some sort or another. And then in this section, there are two poems, huh, three poems. And then guess what? There's another section. And so we have to do the whole thing again, a title of a section, a quote from somebody a word with definitions, the soundtrack, and the ritual. And it goes on and on like that. And I was talking to somebody and they said, if I was a teenager, I would probably love that book. And I totally agree. And the other thing is, is that this cover is so fucking 1990s that like, I almost feel like the author of this is feeling that same way. Like if I was a teenager back in those teenager days, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I, I like some of the poems from it. I've seen them in other places and the dude is cool as shit. And the poems are very gay and very like, I don't give a shit. I'm gonna fucking say whatever the fuck I wanna say and you're gonna deal. Um, I mean, the dude looks fucking cool as shit, too. Like, check him out. You know, like, he ain't fucking around. There are some of the poems that seem a little try-hard as far as, like, some of the metaphors don't really work. And I'm sure they work for him, and there's a reason why he picked those. But, to, again, a metaphor is to show you something, show the reader something, have the reader understand something easier than normal, you know? That's what a metaphor is for. A metaphor isn't to make something more fucking confusing. Like, they wouldn't exist if that's what they were there for. And then there's some, like, alliteration, that the alliteration itself works, but the words that are used don't, like, fit necessarily what's going on. So, I don't know. Like, when, and, and then there's couplets. And I have this thing with couplets where I feel like now in modern poetry, the reason why people write in couplets is to pad out a book or to, I don't know, like make it easier for the person to read. But I feel like when you just have couplet after couplet after couplet, it becomes boring. So no one will read that. Or people won't read it with the same like big, like if you did like couplet, quatrain, huge block, couplet you know and like mixed it up I feel like that's better but that's not proper sometimes I don't fucking know I just I found myself getting tired and it was late when I was reading it but still like a couplet shouldn't bore you you know the other thing I will say the positive is that he's got some good ass lines in there like the, the poem might be but there'll be a line or two in that poem that just knock you out. Right now, it's a hit or miss. I'll probably do a more in-depth thing on it later. Next, The Hatred of Poetry by Ben Lerner. So far, I think this book is absolute garbage. I fucking hate essays, and so I probably shouldn't even read them. And I hate essays because the essayist takes you on a journey of having to believe what this person says in order for the rest of the essay to make sense. And then the next thing they do, once they 
make you believe them and tell you a bunch of personal anecdotes that really don't fucking matter except for word count. They will say, this person said in this thing, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll go on and on and on about what other people have said. To me, if you need, and this might be the way essays are taught. So fine. But it, to me, if you need all of these extra things to get someone to agree with what you're saying, like maybe your argument isn't that fucking sound. And maybe that's the point of essays. Let me see if I could make you kind of agree with me on a thing that's kind of shit just to see if we could do it. I don't know. There's a lot of perhapsing in essays and I fucking hate perhapsing. It's just, I don't know, like mean what you say, say what you mean. Like who gives a shit, right? So I don't know, but um, I got this just to see how uh, similar that is. The hatred of poetry is to the upcoming poetry is bullshit book and it's not. I'm gonna blow your mind right now too. A lot of this dude's like thesis on all this shit is this one poem from Marianne Moore. I too dislike it. Reading it, however, with a perfect contempt for it, one discovers in it, after all, a place for the genuine. I think that's a shit take. And I think like, and this is her poem called Poetry. And I think this poetry could be anything. Even though it says reading it, I think it could be sex. Like, I too dislike it. Doing it, however, with a perfect contempt for it, one discovers in it, after all, a place for the genuine. It could be eating lasagna, you know? Like, I too dislike it. Eating it, however, with a perfect, like, it's just like, Anyone can say fucking anything about anything. And the reason why people dislike poetry is because it is taught to be an objective thing, but it is subjective based on the fact that she just said she dislikes it. And he's like, yes, it's a paradox. You know, I too, I dislike poetry, but love it at the same time. I just don't understand. Because it's fucking subjective. Like how fucking, this is like the most elementary fucking thing in the world. And this motherfucker wrote an essay long enough to be padded out into a book to like contemplate this. And then he has to go through all these other great philosophers and poets over the hundreds of years who have like really thought hard about this. It's not a hard fucking thing to think about at all. It's so fucking stupid. I'm gonna be more angry and more upset about it as the days come, so I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna end up in my blog. This might just be a, a video on its own, on its own. On its own. Bye. I just wanna give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.